Hey guys, it's Mr. Bison and congratulations, you have finished your maths A-level. Oh my God, it is so hot today. Obviously I'm filming in the garden and I cannot imagine what it must have been like to be in the exam hall. Now I know a few of you have still got a couple of exams left, but if you are completely finished, this is the summer you're gonna have ahead of you. And I'm just so proud of all of you for having completed the A-level. So really, really well done and good luck for those last few papers. Now I know you're here because you wanna know what did I think of these papers relative to some of the previous years. And I have to say mechanics was very, very straightforward. There were so many easy small marks. I know there were more questions than normal. There were six questions rather than five questions, but question one and question two were very, very similar to each other. There's a lot of vectors, uh, lots of SUVAT throughout this paper, but I know that you all will have had a bit of a jump scare when you turned over to that last page and you saw a double pager. I don't think I've ever seen a double pager exam question, but relatively straightforward, no hinges, nothing that we were kind of worrying about. And actually I thought quite a lot of the numbers were very nice, especially in the projectiles question as well. Now stats on the other hand was a different kind of thing. Lots of the questions were pretty classic and straightforward. Haven't seen a tree diagram in quite a while. Seemed like pretty easy one. But the large data set question was a little bit weird with that hypothesis test and then a thing about the sample and the population. But hopefully if you kept your cool, it'll all been fine and you would have done well with that. There was obviously a classic normal distribution question with the missing mean and standard deviation, but that was something you could really be prepared for. So hopefully that was something that you did very, very well. And then question six. I mean, what a weird question, the way that it was structured. I had been kind of thinking they might do something with probability distributions. They didn't have it written as a table, but if you wrote it as a table, it did make things a little bit easier. And that I think brought up some stuff with arithmetic series, the discriminant, which was very strange because these were two topics that were actually already assessed in paper one, but we had some ideas they might be doing some pure in statistics and they did come through with this. So generally the poll so far from what people have been saying is that most people are saying it's either better than they expected or about what they were expecting. And I think that's mostly down to mechanics because mechanics was a pretty classic, really, really good solid paper that I hope you guys could have got a lot of marks on. And I did ask people in a different poll, which one did they find harder between statistics and mechanics? and definitely the majority of people have gone with statistics. And I think that's probably because of that question six that we had there. So you're finished. What are you gonna do next? Well, I do have something that if you're quite like crafty or into graphic design, or if you're sort of a creative kind of person, you may have seen me wearing these t-shirts. I'm not wearing this t-shirt because it is way too hot for a black t-shirt. I am not selling these. I'm not making any profit. Someone else is selling these t-shirts and making profit from them. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool if anybody wants to design a t-shirt or stickers or anything as a bit of merch where I will give 50% of the profits to the designer, 50% of the profits to a charity. I don't wanna make any money from this. I just thought it could be something that's quite cool to do. If you do wanna design something, there is a link down in the description where you can submit your artwork. And also there's a bunch of photos and the Bison Matter logo that you can use to help you in that design process. And I suppose the last thing I really wanna say is goodbye for now. You're gonna have this incredible summer ahead of you because you've worked hard and you know that you're gonna do well on results day. And I wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the support that you give to me on this channel. I am so proud to get to, the, to get to do this as my job and to teach so many thousands of students. You can hear I'm a bit emotional because I can't even get my words out. And it is literally a dream job for me. I can't imagine back in 2010 when I started teaching that I would ever get to do this and that people would care about what I thought or that they would like the way that I teach. And the fact I get to do this, I've said it already before, it is a dream come true. So thank you so, so much. I'm wishing you the best of luck for results day, the best of luck for any more exams that you've got coming up. I'm now gonna go and do a lot, of, a lot of relaxing, enjoy this nice weather, and I'm doing a trip this summer where I'm going to Izmir and Istanbul and then traveling back to the UK across Europe. So let me know what you're gonna do this summer. I hope you've got some fun plans with your friends and I hope to see you in another video soon. Look out for something just before results day where we can all sort of talk about how we're feeling. Anyway, well done guys. See you later, bye.